Well, Taiwan has hit its October vaccination targets ahead of schedule. Three days ahead of October 31st, single-dose vaccination has exceeded 70 percent, while second-dose coverage has reached 30 percent. The CCC plans to accelerate its vaccine program next month, with priority given to people who need their second dose. In Taipei, officials will set up vac vaccine stations at schools and activity centers to widen access. The 12th vaccination round entered its second phase on Thursday. Also on Thursday, the CECC announced that single-dose coverage had reached past 70 percent. Second-dose coverage exceeded 30 percent. Both targets were met ahead of schedule. We need to step up efforts to vaccinate the fifth priority group. For high-risk people at long-term care facilities, we want to get the numbers up as quickly as possible. As for people in the seventh priority group who need their second dose, they're being treated the same as the general population, so their vaccination rate is relatively low. Here are the latest vaccination rates by demographic. Nearly 90 percent of medical workers and epidemic prevention personnel in the government are fully vaccinated. Nearly 80 percent of other high-risk frontline workers are fully vaccinated. Among adults 65 and older, one-dose coverage is nearly 80 percent, while nearly 67 percent are fully vaccinated. The CECC says that going by the rate so far, Taiwan looks set to keep its epidemic contained. To prevent progress from stalling, officials are moving to improve vaccine access. What we need to take into consideration is how to optimize access to the best of our ability. We will reduce vaccination capacity at the Taipei Expo Dome. In each district, at locations that need them, we will set up medium-sized vaccine clinics. The Taipei city government says it will set up medium-sized vaccine clinics at local activity centers and school auditoriums. With help from borough wardens, the city plans to actively encourage locals to use the clinics to reduce the burden at medical facilities. Taipei City plans to set up medium-sized community vaccination stations. Besides that, the CECC is considering using metro stations, which have been used before to deliver flu shots. These stations will offer walk-in services. There will be raffle prices as an incentive to increase vaccine willingness. It depends on what the prices are. If the prices are lame, I wouldn't want them. I think that MRT vaccination stations are a better idea. This seems to be how it's done overseas. People on the wait list for a second dose. We're hoping that in November we can meet the demand for this group of people. A new shipment of the Pfizer vaccine, roughly 900,000 doses, arrived in Taiwan Thursday morning. Another delivery is expected on Friday. With vaccines arriving in rapid succession, Taiwan's challenge is shifting from securing supplies to keeping up the vaccination momentum.